My history of doing youth work and so forth started in, in Maloney um, with my first barber shop, Professional Barber Boys. And uh, I now trim one of my customers. He is about nine years old. And he went home and within three hours I got the news that um, someone shoot up the house and killed him, killed his mother and his uncle. And one of his next uncle got some bullets. And that hit me so hard, like a, a rain check. And um, at that time, I now got my first daughter, and I felt, felt so that this is the environment that I bring my kids up in. And no one was doing anything. The powers that be wasn't doing nothing, I mean. And we decided to start doing different youth work. We started um, after school homework center for the youths when they're at home. Instead of being in the environment, because I realized a lot of youths the uncles of the family in a lot of criminal activities and when they're at home, they're vulnerable for actually it happening. We lobbied with, with the Trinidad Youth Council to get youth spaces or national youth policy, a policy to address youth situations in Trinidad and Tobago, which we did get that at that time. I was approached from YTC, YTC to come and do a program and they just wanted me to just come and teach. We did the training, we had 20 of the, the guys that did real good, Ten of them remain because they are still serving their sentence and so forth, but ten of them were job placed after the program. And we put them on the, on a workplace. So after we realized that, that pro, the program in regards to job placements, we decided to go full pledge into professional barbering schools. Barbering is not about just giving a haircut. The whole aspect of barbering deals with so many other different things. Barbering is a, a profession that you learn the skill, attitude, and knowledge. Personally, I started doing this 18 years ago, going to different homes. It doesn't matter where a patient comes from. Could be off the street, could be wherever, and he just, he showed them a type of love and affection. Lifts the person's spirit and morale, in the sense of seeing professional persons coming and paying attention to them and making them look good. It's convenient for me that I do have to go out and, and I have somebody to talk to, make me look tidy. No matter what life throws at you, always get up and go again. I mean, I'm a true example of that. I've gone through, you would name it. So I will always tell someone, no matter what life throws at you, always get up and go again.